Olympics 2024, you know? Um, and shout out to everybody again for, for joining. This is uh, Bridge the Gap on MTK Worldwide, you know? I'm your host, Taekwon, uh, International Vice President of Mighty Zoo Kings and Queens Worldwide, member of the Radio Rock crew. And, you know, I got my man, XL. Go ahead, XL, you know, introduce yourself. What's going on, everybody? I am Excel, representing Floor Lords Crew out of Boston, Mass. Also representing Problems Crew. Um, I am the VP or Vice President of Dance Sport for USA Breaking. Uh, I'm a b boy coach. I'm a b boy father, and a lot of other titles. But yeah, 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 no doubt. Hold up. So let me type some on it on my Facebook real fast. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, for, for, for this. <clears throat> but we we lie right now. And um all right, so first first of all, you know, thank you for 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 joining, you know what I'm saying? Uh what come about as you know, you know, I, I was just curious, right? Like, okay, what's going on with the Olympics? Because I, I started seeing other organizations all over the world. Um start doing their thing, right? And so I was like, yo, what's going on with the US? You know what I mean? Like, and for me, I always like to take initiative and, you know, being proactive. So, so I start researching, you know? Shouts to Omar, what up, bro? Um, I start researching. What up, and, I, you know, I came, I came across, uh, oh shit. What up, Cross? I didn't see Cross. Yeah, he did come Cross one, he saw Session Worldwide, all right? Cross. Um, and then, you know, I found out it was, you know, USA Dance and, and then USA Breaking. So I, I just wanted, you know, I reached out to you guys and start building a little bit. And I was like, hey, let's, let's get you on because I have a lot of questions to ask. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and, and I'm sure these are going to be good questions for the community to even know what's going on. Right. Yeah. And so first and foremost, um, who is part of USA Breaking? Well, really, really quick, before I even answer that, I just want to say, uh, if there's any questions that anyone else has outside of, like, the conversation we have, if you want to uh, contact our organization, you can reach us at USA Breaking, and that's Breaking, just B-R-E-A-K-I-N, okay, no G, um, and there's a reason behind that, I'll explain that in a second, USA Breaking dot org, okay, so, once again, you can reach us at info at USA Breaking dot org. Um, the reason we spell it, we, we call it USA Breaking or just spell Breaking without the I-N-G is because for it to be looked at as a sport, it has to be unique. There's already a sport called Breaking, which is board breaking in martial arts, if you're familiar with it. Uh, so we didn't want there to be any confusion. We wanted to make sure that people knew this was a separate thing than, uh, than what that is. So that's why we don't use the G at the end of that. Okay. So... Uh, Going back to your question, you said you asked who is a part of our organization? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, like who, who is part of USA Breaking? Okay, so as of right now, for, just to be just to be upfront, USA Breaking is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we are opening up memberships to whoever wants to join. Um, as far as who's on the board of USA Breaking, there's about six to seven members, including myself. As I stated, I'm the VP of, of uh, the Dance Sport VP, I should say. Uh, our chairman is Task, uh, Tony Castillo. For those that don't know, he runs Lab, been running CBL for a long time. Uh, Lab Rats crew member, uh, been in the scene for 20 something odd years. Uh, good friend of mine for about that much, that long. So he is our chairman. He's, he's the, the, the big guy um, who mm -hmm. kind of put a lot of this together. Um, uh, our next up, we have my man Ian. Um, Rule One, who is the owner of the B-Boy Factory in Denver. Um, he is another B-Boy that's been around for a long time, teaches, uh, performs, does all kinds of stuff. They do great things out there with the B-Boy Factory. If you're, not, and if you're in, that, in that area, check them out as well as the lab in D.C. Uh, next up, we have Jet uh, from Miami. Um, Jet is, is taught notable students as Zeku and, and a lot of other guys out there. Um, they own Miami B-Boy Academy out in, in Florida. These guys have also been in the scene for a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. they do great things out there, with, especially with a lot of the youth. Um, kind of along with him, we have D. Um, D is also, he's our graphic designer, and he is also uh, a member. Um, he, he's kind of partnered with uh, 
Jet, and they, they both run Miami B-Boy Academy as well as two ton of other things. Uh, oh, next right. up, we got my man Lazy, uh, Lazy Rocks, uh, National uh, Elements Crew out of uh, D.C., I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so Lazy, is just he's, he's been around since I can remember. I remember battling these guys. Uh, Lazy does a ton of work for us from from like secretarial type work, which is what he does now, to all kinds of stuff. That's one of our main guys there. Uh, we also have Ruth. Ruth. Ruth is the only person in our uh, group that's not necessarily a b boy or b girl. Ruth is our basically our person that's in with uh, USA Dance. Um, she's extremely knowledgeable. Um, I don't want to speak on as far as what she does or what she doesn't do in regards to her day to day job because it's technical and I couldn't yeah. break it down to you. But uh, Ruth is, is is our uh, she's our connection. She's the person that that really facilitates things between us and uh, USA Dance. And, and let's just put it out there: USA Breaking is its own entity. It's a separate organization than USA Dance, uh, but we work together in conjunction to make these things happen. Okay, so basically, so I guess USA USA Dance is the WDSF uh, organization, right? Uh, yes. For, for the Olympics, correct? Essentially, yeah. They're the governing yeah. body, essentially. They're okay. the governing okay. body. Okay. So, so like you say, it's a nonprofit organization. Um, so how are the committee members being picked? So, so just to clarify how this all came about. So essentially everybody I mentioned, uh, this is not a new organization per se. We've been working together for probably five to six years already. Uh, we had been working together with the CBL, which is a competitive breaking league, um, and it's it's a it's it's his own thing, and, and I'm not going to get deep into that. But we had been working yeah. together for years with that. Uh, with that, we had developed a lot of things like a judging system, like certifying our judges, our referees, if, and we'll get into all that. Uh, certifying everyone who works with us so that we can make this a very professional type of thing. We wanted to take breaking to, to the next level and particularly for the youth. So we had all been working as a CBL and, and because of what we had been doing, uh, we had got, we gotten approached by, you know, the people from USA Dance and, and everyone else. And, and they really liked what they came and saw what we did first off and really liked everything that we were doing. And, um, and then that's where the relationship blossomed. So essentially the people that are on the committee are the people that had already been working together. Now, I say that to say this, uh, this has been the very beginnings of everything. We're really trying to, we're really at the beginning level of getting everything situation. USA Breaking is a nonprofit organization that's open to everyone. We're opening up membership to everyone. We're also opening up, uh, this is going to be a democratic process in order to open up the committee for everyone. So once things are established, okay, we're going to let the community have their voice and say, they can vote on who they want to be chairman, who they want to be X, Y, and Z. Okay, but before we can do that, the community has to kind of get involved and become members. You know, and that's what we're really trying to build now. Like a platform, like a unified platform for everybody. Okay, yep. I see. Okay, um, so uh, so what what are the qualifications to be a community member? To say everybody join and everything. What 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 would be the qualifications? Uh, is is that, is that something that you guys already have in place, or is that something that once everybody joined, then you know you guys come up with the qualification qualifiers and all that? And we go, are you talking about competitors? Or are you talking about no, no, like being members? a committee member? Okay, is that so? Just to be clear, there's different tiers of so there's you can be a, a member that's a competitor, or you can be a member that is a judge or a. Uh, coach, for instance, right? Then you have committee members, which are, you know, the, it's the, in a sense the governing body, the people that are going to make the decisions up top. Okay, so are you asking how how do you become a committee member? Right. Like, do does everyone vote? You know. So essentially, it... I mean, we we're, again, this is a process we're still developing in regards to that because we haven't gotten to that point yet. So okay. what it's gonna what's gonna happen? And, you know, and if I can kind of speculate a little bit, I would say that. Obviously, you're going to have to have certain credentials in the community. You're going to, you can't just be a uh, b-boy, funky chicken from wherever. And, right, and, right, and, and right. you know, you have to have credentials in the community. Um, and, and again, it's hard to say what those are going to be off the top because we haven't got to that point yet. But uh, 
But once you you are, let's say you have a person who's known or respected or whatever, and they want to be essentially um, part of it is joining Safe Sport. Safe Sport is is a is a big deal. Um, so for those of you that don't know what Safe Sport, check it out. Uh, we work really quickly. Uh, let me step back really quickly and say this. Uh, one thing that all of us share in common is we're all teachers. I think this is what really differentiates us from most organizations. We're not just B-boys that are out here just like, or, or B-girls, I should say as well, that are just out here trying to do it. We all have, we all work with the youth and we have been working with the youth for a long time. So our goal is to basically create a, a, a path for, for the youth, for everyone, but in particular the youth, because the youth, the youth is the future, right? It's so future, right. That's, that's the benefit. Everything we're doing, we're not, we don't get paid for any of this. We're doing this, we work countless hours and we've been doing this for a while now just to, to build a platform so that it can take off. Um, mm -hmm. So essentially, man, the, we're, we're really working to, to provide opportunities that we didn't have. More importantly, provide opportunities for the USA dance community, which is a mecca, the, the, the origins of where this came from, uh, so that they can go to the Olympics and they can represent correctly. You know what I mean? As you stated before, uh, all these other countries, they, they have this stuff together. They've been doing this. Um, and it, it makes no sense that the U.S., uh, hasn't done this properly um, or hasn't done this. So we're really trying to like take the initiative and do it, you know, because someone's going to do it rather. I'd rather it be individuals in a community that have something to lose or, or have something, uh, someone that they want to work towards like the youth um, as opposed to just some people or some, some individuals that don't know anything about the dance. Mm, okay. Right. Well, um, th thank you for that. Um, so, so, you know, let's get to the top of it. Like, what's your organization view on breaking as a sport? Like, do you think it's an art form or a sport? Well, How's USA breaking view, you know, breaking, you know, is it art form or sport based on your, you know, your views? Well, first and foremost, uh, we believe that breaking is an art form, first and foremost. It, it, it'll always be that. Uh, it'll always be an art form. Uh, we also believe that it can coexist as a sport, a dance sport as well. Uh, we believe that one doesn't take away from the other. We believe that the essence, the core of it, will always maintain the cypher aspect, that real raw street, you know, whatever you want to call it, that's always going to be there. And, and nothing, no level of notoriety or no matter how big it gets will ever take that. You know what I mean? If you look at skating, uh, for comparison, skating, you know, now it, it's a huge thing. It's, it's big. They can make all kinds of money, they can get sponsors, they can do that, but there's still people that are in state parks doing their thing. So we look at it the same way. Uh, the important thing that people, in our opinion, we, we want people to know in order for this dance to be taken seriously by the world and to be taken to the next level, there needs to be a level of organization. And that's something that, unfortunately, we as a hip hop community lack. A lot of organization, there's a lot of infighting, there's a lot of uh, nah, blah, blah, blah. Like, if we don't come together and make this happen and, and make and have a unified stand and, and have, you know, all types of rules and regulations, we can't move forward. So that's essentially what we're trying to do, guys. I mean, we, like I said, we're cho we believe that it's an art form and a dance sport to answer your question. Okay. But okay. we're focused, not solely, we are focused on the, on the sport aspect without forgetting the art form aspect. Right, right. So you still support, like, local gyms and... Party. I throw local jams. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, okay. Myself, my crew, the Flow Lords, we throw local jams. We still do it all. At no point are we saying that this is the end all be all or this is taking over that aspect of it, you know, the raw aspect. No, I think they can both coexist. But for those individuals that train and that want to take this to the next level and they want to represent their country or they want to represent on, on any on a notoriety level that, that some of these, you know, individuals from across the seas do, we're trying to give them a platform. Right, right. So, so let's get into that. Okay, USA Dance and USA Breaking. Can you go in, in more of the details of what's, what's that partnership and relationship between two entities about? Yeah, definitely. So USA Dance is the basically the governing body, the governing body for dance sport. They're the governing body for all kinds of dance sports, not just uh, breaking, but uh, ballroom, any type of competitive dance. In the United States, USA Dance is the, excuse me, they are the, the governing body, okay? So in order for us to get to the point where we can uh, really get to the point where we can, you know, um, 
get into the Olympics and, and then have these, these events that we want to have. Uh, it's a relationship that, that we're working with and, and really building off of each other. We're learning from them, they're learning from us. Uh, USA Breaking is a separate organization. As I stated before, we're a nonprofit organization. Uh, we're basically focused solely on breaking. That's our only thing that we're really focused on. We're not in any way focused on anything else. And we really maintain a, uh, we try to maintain a really good relationship with uh, uh, USA Dance. And, uh, and, and um, again, we, we study their, their rule books uh, and, and things like that. We really abuse them as kind of like a, uh, a guide or a blueprint, a blueprint, I should say, if you will, uh, in order to, you know, to take some of the things that they do that work and then mix it with our things and you can take, take away some of the things that don't uh, to really you know, streamline what we're trying to do. Right, right. So, so, so I'm, I, I assume USA Breaking, like you said, is an independent organization, yes. right? And and so USA Dance is basically outsourcing you guys to you know, yeah. organize this, you know, whole qualification, everything to to bring basically qualify USA Breakers for the you know USA you know for the 2024 Olympics. Is that yeah? Is that correct? So yeah, definitely, that's correct. So USA, USA Dance is the governing body recognized under WDSF and IOC, which is the International Olympic Committee, okay? So like, as you said, they're kind of outsourcing or working with, in conjunction with us, I should say, to really, okay. be, you know, because the reality of it is that, you know, not saying us particularly, but in order for someone to run an organization, you have to be involved in it, you have to think, and they, that's why they needed B-Boys and B-Girls to come in and say, hey, you know, they saw our level of organization and what we were trying to do prior to that. And we're like, these guys are already on the right path. You know what I mean? So, right. uh, you know, and, and in turn, what we're doing is we're trying to start, you know, the blueprint, for example, because it, it, unfortunately, if you take something, and you open it up to everybody. A lot of times things don't get done. Right. So mm -hmm. we're trying to really start the, the blueprint and really kind of get things started. Uh, and then we're opening it up to everyone. As, as I said before, it's going to be a democratic process. So someone like Taiwan could come and, 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 and become a board member if he's voted in, right? The other thing that we're doing that's, that's really important to us, and it was something that we, we talked about from jump, and no, let, let me just be clear, at no point do we feel that we are the authority on breaking or anything like that. We're just trying to get it done and represent it the best. What we're doing is we created a legacy committee Okay, a legacy mm -hmm. committee is a committee comprised of uh, OGs, uh, such as Honey Rockwell, such as Asia One. Um, we've talked to Linsky. Uh, we've mm -hmm. talked to Zulu Grams. We've talked to a lot of individuals. Uh, Quick and Rock from uh, New York, Quick Step and Rockefeller. Um, and um, uh, basically, we have a committee of individuals that we're coming to when we're, let's say, we're currently. Uh, making sure that our, our rule book that we created from scratch is, is up to par. We're going to have them, we have them look over it and say, this is though, this is not, you know what I mean? We have a committee that that's basically making sure that we're doing what we do correctly as well and asking and getting advice from them, you know? Uh, and that in tune is also how we keep the, the artistic or the, the, the true part of the art form in conjunction with the dance sport. You know what I mean? We can't, forget about the OGs and the cats that came before us. So that's why we're using them to really uh, garner advice and really and, and see the direction that they would like to see it go as well. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you spoke about the rule book. We'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. And so I want to, you know, I have a different question. So so as USA Breaking, as, as an organization, who's going to be the main organizer, right, for the USA mm -hmm. team for the Olympics 2024, What's the infrastructure? What's the platform going to be, uh, you know, for the USA qualifications? So essentially what we're creating at the moment or what we're doing is we're creating regional competitions, right? We're creating regional competitions, uh, let's just say major cities, hy you know, hypothetically, uh, so that regionally, let's just say the best individuals in New York or the best individuals in whatever their respective area will compete. Okay. The winners of those regionals will all qualify for nationals. Okay, come the nationals and compete, and they they will be ranked and, and so on and so forth. Okay, and that way, once that is done and established, from that point on, those are the individuals that will be eligible um, to qualify or to 
be part of the uh, USA team. Okay? So, and that's in a nutshell. Remember, a lot of this stuff is really in the beginning stages. Um, so, you know, I, there's only so much information I can really give in regards to, you know, what, what we're doing. But essentially, that's the basic uh, platform that we're, we're doing, you know? Um, and it, and, it, and to me, I like it because it blends, you know, the new and the old, you know, you, at the end of the day, it's really about battling and who, who represents what, you know, and we want mm -hmm. the best of the best on this USA team. We don't want any, you know, old person. We want the cats that should be representing out there representing, you know, bottom line. So, so, so bottom line, add on to that. So basically what I'm hearing you is you guys going to have regionals, right? Yes. And then the the winners of the regional is going to go to the nationals. And then whoever's, you know, wh whoever wins the nationals is going to be, eventually be the representative for the USA. Uh, well, they qualify. They qualify at that point, you know, to be on the Olympic team. That still after that becomes another process as far as we don't have authority to say X, Y, and Z have to be on the team. You understand what I'm saying? At that point... Once they, once these winners, we have, we have, what we're doing is we're basically saying we have the best of the best come in battle from the regionals to the nationals, okay? These are your top, let's just hypothetically say, just throwing a number out there. These are your. Yo, Excel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my bad. Um, these are your top 15 individuals. Um, mm -hmm. Then at that point, the people that are going to be coaches and, and running that aspect of it, because they're, that's a little bit different than what we're doing, uh, those individuals will select. They'll have a, a separate selection process to, to decide who the people are that are going to be on the team. Okay, so even if you win the national, right, like you qualify into the USA. So how many people can, can qualify? That is something that's still up in the air. I'm not sure okay. exactly, to be honest with you. Again, that's just is a process we're still working on. But what I'm saying is, once you make to that point and you go to a USA Olympic training facility, there's still mm -hmm. other standards that they got to hold you back. It's not even always about winning. It's about your work ethic. Are you going right, right. to work? Are you going to be there right, right. taking it? You get what I'm saying? So it's yeah, possible. Yeah. You could be the top people in the United States. You get to camp and you're not doing you're not stepping up. Right, right, so right. At that point, they have the authority to make a cut and be like, this person's not right. We're not only just looking for individuals that are talented. We're looking, we're looking for individuals that are willing to put the work, have the work ethic, and really want to represent as best they can. So so there's a, there's a gruesome process. You got to win regional. You got to win national. And then you still got to pay dues when it when it becoming part of the USA team. And then from there, they're going to pick who's the best from that USA team that we're going to send to the Olympics. Is that, is that yep. correct? Yep. Wow. Okay. Hey. So it's not an easy process at all. But I mean, yeah. you know what? It, it shouldn't be, you know, in my opinion. And any, if you're representing your country, you, you got to have that desire. you got to have that work ethic. You can have all the talents in the world, but if you don't have that work ethic, what, what good is it, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 at least we... Myself, you know, I can only speak for myself, and hopefully, people that, that are watching this and or sooner watch this can kind of understand that process. And I can I can see it now, right? Um, so how will USA break and fund yourself with all this so, going? So the way we're funding ourselves currently is our sponsors. Uh, again, so we put up some of our own money as well because again. We're a grassroots organization. We're trying to do this from the beginning. Um, eventually, when members join, as members join, you know, there is a membership fee and things like that, depending on, on what level you are. Those, that money will also go back directly into the community. Um, again, this is a nonprofit, so it's not like, you know, we're banking on this. We're basically using this money to go back into the community to throw higher quality events, to throw workshops. Uh, again, going back to the Legacy Committee, not only are we using them for their advice and their knowledge, but we also plan on bringing them into the events and having panel discussions and having having workshops with some of these OGs because these guys are full of knowledge. And I, and I personally feel, and I think we as a group personally feel that a lot of times they don't get utilized uh, mm -hmm. as, as well as they should, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, that's essentially where we are with that. So, so basically self-funding right now. And then no some sponsor here and there. But is there a... Uh, 
a, 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 a plan that you guys have in place for, you know, for the future to be self-sufficient and everything? Is there a plan in place? Definitely. Um, we definitely do. Uh, again, there's certain things that I, I still really can't really get into fully because it's still yeah, in yeah, yeah. stages, but there's definitely much more to it. You know, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm being vague, but there's definitely a lot more to it. It's, you know, th there's definitely a plan in place. There's, there's definitely uh, funds coming in from different aspects and whatnot. And again, more information will be released as things, you know, happen. But uh, we don't want to put things out there and not, and not have anything 100% yet, you know? Right, right. So, so when does this process start, bro? Because we, we, we don't know. Like, no yeah. one knows, you know? So, so as you know, the Olympics aren't really until 2024. Um, but what we're working on for this year, for 2020, is to put together what we call an Olympic uh, travel team or a team that can go and represent at some of these international competitions. Um, I can't think of off the top of my head, but that's really the goal. So essentially, this is starting pretty soon. Um, our first regional is uh, going to be in D.C. It's going to be March, and I should know this because I'm going to be there, uh, March 9th, if I'm not mistaken. Um I'll double check that in a second, um, in DC, and that's going to be the first regional. Um, and there's going to be regionals in Boston. There's going to be regionals in Denver, Miami, uh, and a few other locations. Um, and so essentially, as I stated before, the winners in the kids, teen, and adult categories, uh, from each regional will get flown down to, uh, DC for the finals. The final, the winners from that will be chosen or selected to go on and be on a, on a travel team that can go represent the U.S. internationally. Okay, so the winners of each regional is no, going to get winners of, of the winners of the national competition. Oh, okay, okay. So and how many? And how many people can be involved in the national? That we're still working out details with that. Oh, okay, still okay. Working out details. Okay. So you, yeah, so basically you guys are going with the same uh, plan, same right? Process, like regional, and then whoever went national, they'll they'll get to travel and then go compete in other so-called WDSF, right? Uh, qualification exactly. in other country. Yeah. And see how well USA, you know, is doing. Players, okay. Yeah. I, I I see what you're saying. Okay, cool. That, I mean, that's that's pretty good, man. Um. Yeah. So, judging system, right? Um, is there one in place? Yeah. Yeah. So currently we're using the B-score judging system. Um, B-score? B-score? B yeah. As in the letter B. B-score. Okay. B-score judging system. Um, it's something that, that we've been working on for a while, even prior to this. Um, and uh, in my opinion, it, it works well. Um, it works well and it's something that we have been tweaking and working on for a while and it's going to continue to to be uh worked on and, and, and advanced um what i can tell you is in regards to the judging system and rules and regulations they will be out to the public shortly uh, as as soon as possibly friday um don't okay. me. it might be a little after friday give or take um right. but, but you can expect very soon to see a, a full public release of uh the rules and regulations and, and get an understanding what the judging system is going to be based off of. But what I can tell you off uh, now, just to give you a, a quick synopsis, uh, we are we are focused on the, the fundamental elements of what we do. So top rock, footwork, power freezes are, are something that are that are big in our system. Okay. And then again, once you once it's released, it'll be easier because honestly, that would take forever to sit there and break the whole system down at the moment. Right. Um, so for justice, I, I got a question. Uh, uh, to add on to that, um, man, I'm losing train of thought. Is this is this justice system uh, based on a requirement of w D WDSF? Is it based on? Say that again. I'm sorry. Based on WDSF requirements, because because don't the justice system have to align with the WDSF? This system, it, it is. They they have verif they have verified they have approved it. It's not the same judging system that's used. In other countries, I can tell you that. Uh, so each, from my understanding, and I correct me if I'm wrong, each country is actually allowed to, on the on the national level, allowed to uh, judge their system or judge their competitions according to their rules and regulations as long as it's approved. 
but for the okay. for the international, let's say, let's say for the Olympics, it's going to be one unified system, whatever that may be, at that time. Mm. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so maybe I'm confused here. Okay, so for the Nash, for the national USA, we have the, our own judge system, like the B score. Yeah. But when you start, once the USA team, you know, is picked mm -hmm. and right is yeah. picked, you guys are gonna start using the WDSF international judge system. Is that correct? Yep. Whatever, okay. whatever the competition is, I mean, I, I, I can't speak on to exactly which one because I know that there's more, there more than one judging system out there. But uh, I, I, whatever the international uh, rules to abide by is what we're, we're going to go. And a lot of what we're doing, and just to be clear on B-score, there's similarities. There are things that are okay. that it's not completely like left field. And you know what I mean? It's uh, Again, it's hard to get into all of it without breaking down the whole system, which would be a whole two or three hour long conversation. You know what I mean? Again, once the rules are, and regulations are released, um, I, I would recommend that people look through them, check it out, comment. Um, we'll, you know, we'll have a press release. Definitely shoot us emails or questions you may have. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like Omar is saying, you know, so basically the USA system may differ. So well, I guess what Excel is saying, yeah, it, it may differ. Yeah. And it so may I'm trying to be a devil advocate here, you know, because, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure other people might ask, right? Like, okay, I'm, I'm training hard on based on the U.S. system. You know, I, I won, you know, I'm representing Team USA, but then I got to train differently based on the WDSF judge system. Is that, is that, I don't, I, I really don't feel the scenario. The I mean, I, I, I've studied a lot of the judging systems that are out there, um, and I don't really feel that it's that it's not that different. There's ins and outs that, you know, there's certain things that you really kind of like want to know or things like that, but it's not anything where you'd have to train differently. A B-boy is a B-boy. A B-girl is a B-girl. You're still going to have mm -hmm. to work on the same things. Uh, right, right, right. Basically, you know, a judging system might differ by having eight judges as opposed to three. You get what I'm saying? So it's not, uh, I would say the, the best thing that I could say again is I would wait till the rules and regulations are released, gloss through them yourselves, and then decide because... Right now, without really having seen the system, you can't even see if it's similar, if it's completely. But I would say, as someone has that has seen uh, not only our system, the B score, but also other systems, there are tons of similarities. I don't think you need to train that much differently. Right, and you you're saying you guys gonna release this judging system to the public soon? Yeah, very soon. Yes. And where where it's gonna be? Uh, we'll put out a press release. We'll put out a press release. You'll okay. Breaking. We'll put out a, a press release. Um, and I can definitely send this to you so you can yes. throw it out to your viewers. And yeah, if I you tag all the, you know, all the heads, you, sure. you know, who's who's in the game, you know what I'm saying? So tag us and then we all share it, you know what I mean? For sure. That's, For sure. that's how that's how we're going to move. Um, But yeah, um, other than that, um, what, so, so there's going to be a justice system. How about the judges? Like, What's the requirement for the judges for the USA, you know, uh, qualification? Really, really quickly, not to cut you up, um, but I just read Omar's question. Does the USA judges system meet the minimal international standards? Yes, it does. Mm. Okay. Just to answer that, yes, it does. Again, it's been approved by the IOC, the WDSF, okay? Just to put that out there. So we're not just like randomly throwing, you know what I mean? This isn't like we, we made up something from scratch. It's been approved by the powers that be, so... Yeah, and that's why you guys are working with USA Dance, yes, right? Exactly. To get it based on to meet yeah. the minimum international standards. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good to hear that you guys been you know doing this, you know, sure. uh, putting work on on the back end. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, so so when it comes to justice system, there has to be judges, right? Yes. So what are the requirements if somebody like you know I don't know B Boy A want to be a judge? Definitely. Well, number one is, is uh, number one is safe sport. Um, that's a big thing. Um, safe sport is bas basically almost like a background check to make sure that, you know, you can work with kids, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one of the main things uh, to become a judge. Number one, I'll frit before anything else. What, what's that again? Uh, safe sport. Safe sport. Yeah. Safe, safe sport. sport. Okay. Yeah. Safe sport is one of the main uh, criteria in, in order to be able to be any type of you know, whether, you know, you're any type of official whatsoever or a coach or whatever the case may be. Again, 
we're not only just working with adults here, we're working with teens, working with youth. We want to make sure that everyone's safe, everything is good on that end. Um, and, and those are, and that again goes back to international IOC, quali- um, IOC standards. Um, you know, also doping and things like that. You know, I know that, the, uh, that you know, uh, basically the same standards that uh, international competitions, international IOC, I should say, uh, holds is what we, we, we're going to hold people to. So there, there's going to be, you know, dope tests and things like that. And then in regards to uh, how to become a judge, um, once again, you, it, it's an application. You, a, you also you have to become a member of USA Breaking. Okay, it's an application process. You put in your application, and then it's reviewed by individuals on the board that say X, Y, and Z. We feel this person, and that's the same thing for coaching. Same thing for uh, judging. It's the same thing for any any individuals that are working right. with us, yeah. aside from a competitor. You know, so right. yeah. So 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 let's review that, right? So to be a judge, you have to be drug free, right? Because yeah. They're gonna test you. You have to be. You don't. You shouldn't have no criminal records, you know, because they're gonna do a background check, right? With yeah. safe sport. Is that safe is sport. that correct? It's, safe safe sport. Sport. It's, it's it's like it's a background check, but it's not exactly the same as if you were applying for a job. You know what I mean? It's a little. Right. It's a little different. I'd say Google Google it and look into what it is. And and, and that's what I'm asking for yeah. a requirement. Like, just say you got a misdemeanor, right, <laughs> on your record. And you, you want to judge? Is that something that's gonna stop you from being I, able to? I, I mean, I, I'm not the authority on Facebook, but I think it would it would be up to like the severity of what it was. You know, if it was right. a traffic offense. I highly doubt it. You know what right. I mean? It depends on the severity of whatever the situation is. Um, okay. I can tell you that all the members that are from our organization currently are all safe board. They're all we've all went through safe board process and things like that. So uh, we're good on that end. Um, uh, it, it will, I will say that, you know, unfortunately, like in the community that we, that we work in, you know, a lot of us have a past or history or whatever the case may be. There may be individuals that may want to, and they might qualify, but not, not be able to. And that's unfortunate. But in order for us to grow as a, you know, unified mm-hmm. situation or just a unified group, we need to have these things in place to really you know, the best, oh, the hey, best ambassadors yeah, for our team. Yeah, right. yeah, I, I get you. There might be two B-boys or, or two coaches that, two people, right, that want to sign up to be a coach and both have the same skills, right? High caliber and everything. Exactly. But one have more of a clean record than you guys who kind of would, would pick more of the ones that have a clean cleaner record, right? That's right. That's I, I get what you're saying. I mean, that's, I mean, that, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, <laughs> for real, because... Judging, coaching, that's is is a job, right? Is exactly. A, is a job. So it's just, it's just like any other job. You gotta have a clean record. You gotta have exactly. you know good background and drug free. And and that's what we're trying to do. Not only that, but we're all, we're trying to build jobs for the communities. We're trying to build jobs for coaches, for judges, for uh, you know workshops for individuals that maybe you're not a you know competitor, but maybe you you're really good at teaching. We want to give jobs to the community so we can say hey. You know, boom, this guy's dope. You know, we want to give this guy a job doing that. And you know what? He deserves it. He does, he works with the kids. You know, his record's good, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's really our goal to, to provide opportunities and jobs for the community. But there has to be, you know, systems of checks and balances in place in order to, to get to that level. So um, that's really what we're working towards. But uh, those are some of the requirements. Aside from that, you also obviously need to be trained in the system. That's, I mean, that's obviously goes without saying, but you will need, if you're a judge, per se, you do need to be tra- trained in the system so there will be a, a training course that needs to be uh, implemented in that sense for, for you to be able to be a judge. And, and you need to be certified yearly, right? So it's like, if we update the system and you trained last year, you're not going to know what the new, you know what I mean? Uh, so mm-hmm. yearly, there needs to be certifications in order for you to continue to be a judge or a coach. Right, and and for the judge and the coach to be certified, do you have to pay fees yearly? Right. Yes. You yes. have to pay fees, right? To, to yes. be certified, just like any other any other organization. Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, and, and, I think Omar just asked a good question. Has a minimum? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to get it to you. Oh, go ahead. My fault. I mean, you can do what I can do either way. No, no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. 
He said, has the minimum standard been set for compensation? Where would the monies come from? Uh, I'm going to assume that he's re uh, saying in relation to coaching or judging or, or to judging. Yeah, there's no minimum uh, fee that's been set standard yet because, we're, again, we're still at the very beginning stages of that. Uh, as of now, we haven't got to that point. You get what I'm saying? So these are things that we're still working on uh, having a minimum Oh, he said yes, okay. Having a minimum standard for each one and, and things like that. Once as that gets stamped out, as that then we will put that out to the to the public so that people know, you know. But our goal is to be able to have a minimum and say, hey, a B boy coach can make X amount of money. You know what I mean? And that's really excuse me, that's really the goal eventually. Right. And and coming back to that, Omar asked like uh the fees, right, for to be certified. Who, who, what would the fees be paid to? Like who? Who? USA breaking. Okay, USA as an organization. Okay. So and when you, so when you basically when you join USA breaking, you have an option of joining as a competitor, as a coach, as a judge. You know, and there's different tiers and there's different costs associated with each one. Okay, mm -hmm. so depending on what you join as. You know, there will be that fee. That money goes directly to USA Breaking, which in turn goes back to the community. Mm -hmm. So these, this is the money we're going to use to fund, you know, some of these events, to fund some of these workshops, yeah. to to really, you know, just keep keep it going. It's, it's a cycle, you know. And and that's and that's good. You know, it's always good to see the money coming back to the community, right? Because I think a lot of times the tr there's a trust factor with the community sure. working with, you know, other outside organization. They sure. just so-called want to use us and then they doing what they do right um, when it comes to that since usa breaking is a non-profit organization if you're a member of of uh usa breaking will we know where the money is going like okay will you guys provide you know those data to the members because it that's is a, a good, that's a good question that's a good question i can't sit here and say that i know that answer for sure i, I would say that's okay. a good question to email in um, I don't want to comment on that and not be clarified, but, um, you know, I, I would assume yes. Uh, we do have a treasurer. Ruth is our treasurer currently, uh, just so I don't think I mentioned what her position was, um, in, in, in the organization for the toll for, for the time being. Remember though, so once we get to the point where it, it, this is a democratic, uh, process, once we get to the point where we say, okay, elections are open, vote for these individuals. Now, you want to put people as a treasurer that you feel that you can trust. That's the point of having a democratic process, right? So you want to have, you don't want, yo, the most popular guy, right? You want cats that you feel are in it for the right reasons, that are in it for the community that you feel that you can trust them with these situations. But I believe in any uh, nonprofit organization, I believe there's certain standards that in regards to, yeah. you know, being uh, transparent and showing you know, where everything goes. So I, yeah, I transparency know, is like, everything. Yeah, 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 I would assume so. But I, I, yeah. I've got the authority in that, so I didn't want to, you know what I mean? Because I know other nonprofits, they, they'll release their data, right? And, and, and let people know, okay, you know, this this budget is going through the administrative, you know, administration. This budget is going to this event. Sure. This budget. Sure. So everybody can know what's going on, right? So that, that'd be great if USA Break can supply that, you know, quarterly. You know, For and then sure. we can disperse it to the community. Like, okay, this is what USA Breaking been been on, you know? And so it comes so, down so, to that. So just really quickly, Ruth just kind of logged on. Um, Ruth, our treasurer, wrote, must post financials, just to solidify that right there. So as in, okay. yes, we will, we do have to post financials. Yeah, that's, and that's great. That's good for transparency, you know? For sure. Um, hey, Omar got a great question. Um, could a region with funding resources become a member as an entity? Like, just say, if I advise, you know, if I, you know, I guess I have, you know, uh, a bunch of resources, I want to be part of USA Breaking, but not under Taekwondo, but un like under an entity, can I, can I, can I join as that entity? Um, I believe so. I, I mean, we individually, prior to us coming together, we are our, our own entities. Entities, I should say. As that, again, Ian is, is represents the B-Boy Factory. He has his own organization separate from these guys at Miami B-Boy Academy. Task has the lab. I have Excel Breaking Academy. We all have our own entities. So I believe so. Uh, we are branching out, just to put this out there, and I don't know if this answers this question a little bit more. We are branching out 
this year and uh, coming out and coming to new areas. Uh, uh, we we are. I don't want to get into who or what, but we are exploring other areas that we haven't done qualifications or qualifiers, I should say, regionals in yet. Um, so Omar, if, if you know in Texas, if, if you you know if you're interested, definitely holler at us. We'd love to reach out. I was born in Houston, you know. Say shout out to, to all the Texas guys. I'd love to have um, a regional day, and I know there's a ton of talented kid. I know Moy got a bunch of dope kids, so we'd love to come out to all areas. The goal here is that every state will have a regional eventually, and so by the time we come to nationals, it's just literally the best of the best. That's really the goal eventually. Word, yeah. I'll, I'll link you up with Florida, um, Excel for word, for word. Regional Florida. Maybe I can link you up with some heads in Florida. Well, know? we got Florida right now, but I'm always willing to meet new people because Jet, Jet and Honey um, and Gee are doing one in Florida, and Miami. Um, okay, where where? They, that's one of our. That's one that's been going on for a little bit now. So we do. We okay. have Boston. We have Miami. We have DC. We have Denver. Um, and Asia actually is doing one in uh, LA. As well. Okay. Um, so we have a few locations. Yes. Like yeah. And we've been doing this, guys. This isn't, just to be clear, prior to even working with, you know, the, Olymp the Olympics, I mean, we've been doing this. This is something we, we've we been working on for a while. You know, I really can't wait for people to see it because see the whole process of it so that you can see, uh, again, I'm not saying it's the end all be all, but from my experience, it's, it's a really dope process and it's really, uh, a, you know, awesome. Just, just worth checking out, you know? Word. Hey, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what's, what's going to happen, you know? And, and yeah, like, like, your link up with Omar, you know, from down south. <laughs> think, oh, you know? Minneapolis, I'm saying, yeah, uh, we might, I think that we're speaking to uh, Jake out uh, from uh, House of Dance. I, I believe, shout out to Jake. Um, I, I believe that uh, Jake is also might be doing a regional, and is there, or is doing a regional, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, in Minneapolis. So we're already branching out, you know? So... Uh, uh, just to be just to be clear, one of the ways I got started with all this too, I started on, on the competitive aspect. I started as a competitor uh, initially with the CBL, and I came in and I when I, when I battled and I you know whatever, and I thought it was dope. The concept was dope, uh, and then from there I became a promoter and started throwing regionals. So I've been there from the conception, and then I saw it change from that to where we are now, and I've seen the growth, and it's it's kind of crazy to have seen where it's coming from now and uh my hopes is that it keeps continues to grow and I, and I think that if the community supports each other i think this can be amazing you know mm -hmm. now as far as uh requirement for coaches what what a requirement for coaches is there a vetting process uh yeah it's the same for judging there's a vetting process uh state sport um you, you, you know, you have to know the judging system. You have to be trained in the judging system. Same, the, the requirements are pretty much standard across the board. Okay. For coaches? Like coaches, how, like, coaches and judges, pretty much the okay. same. But is there, I, I guess what I'm asking, is there like a, a standard that the coaches got to know how to coach? Or what are the requirements? Oh, yes. Because coaching and judging is different, right? For sure. Like, like is there a, a process in place to so you guys could, could pick like, okay, I, we need, you know, these five coaches out of a hundred, you know. Now, are, you say, are you saying this for for regionals, nationals, or are you saying this yeah. for, the Olympic, for the Olympic level? Because there are different levels there. So for, which, for, I'm, I'm just speaking on generally. USA. Because yeah. USA, USA is what we're focused on right now, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I know that other countries got their own thing. In this chat, is only for USA. Yeah, so yeah, my question sure. is, what are requirements and all that for the coaches to be, to be part of, you know, the USA team. For sure. Okay, so you're speaking about the team, exactly. Okay, so again, we're at the very beginning process of that. That's These are things that we're working on, but I can tell you for sure, uh, the coaches, there will be a very uh, intricate vetting process for the coaches. And again, I can tell you, safe sport is definitely going to be a requirement for that. Um, and, and there's going to be a ton of other requirements, but it, there's no set. Uh, I, I don't want to say there's a set method as of right now because we're still at that problem. We haven't done that before. There's never been a U.S. travel team or anything like that. So we're really at the beginning stages of working that out. But, but I mean, you know, essentially you'd have to be someone that, you know, has put in work that, you know, we mm -hmm. know are, are, you're a coach and you're that like, there's going to be a lot of things, but I, I, I couldn't give you exactly what that is going to be yet. Cause we're still creating that process. 
And wow. I know that there's a bunch of questions. I'm trying to read the questions and answer. And answer. Re- Rempers uh, got a good question. Rempers, Rempers of uh, Crew Dynasty asks, uh, could you become out. a part of uh, uh, a part of USA Break-In or register with USA Break-In as a school? Or would it only be as individuals, dancers, and coaches? So you generally, uh, that's a good question. Um, you generally sign up as an individual. Um, I don't know. We do have schools that are part of it, but usually it's uh, the school that's part of a, a promoter or someone that's throwing a regional. As I said, mm-hmm. Boy Factory, The Lab, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a good question. I, I, I email that one in. Rampage, you can uh, email at uh, info at USA Breaking, uh, just I-N, no G, USA Breaking dot org. Um, ask that question. That's a great question. So let, then, then let me elaborate. Let me add on to, to that. On top of that is B- to say, you know, one of the community member uh, owns Bebo Factory. So is Bebo Factory um, a member of USA Breaking? Or Ian is a member, but Ian then... Is a member. Ian is a member of, of, USA, of USA Breaking, yes. Okay, then I guess to answer that question, you know, um, yeah. Basically, that's why I'm asking, like, is Bebo Factory a so-called formerly a member of USA Breaking? I wouldn't know? say the school, per se. I, I don't, I okay. mean, I think that that's something that eventually we're going to get to where we're certifying whole schools. For sure. Yeah. I think that, it, you know, again, that's a whole process. That would mean that all of your coaches, all of your teachers have to be certified within this same realm. So it's definitely something that we're getting to eventually do, but it's not as easy as, oh, I own a school. Can I certify my school? I mean, can I, you know, be a part of this as a school? Then, again, there's a vetting process. And that's, you know, it's a system. Of... Yo. Hello? Yo. No. <laughs> yeah, Sorry yeah. about a bad call. No, that's it's okay. a system of checks and balances. So in order for you to say my school is, is et cetera, your teachers, your coaches would have to be certified. And if you hired someone new, they would have to go through the same process. So that would be the goal. You know, that's the goal, essentially. Yeah, to standardize everything. There yeah, you go. I, I, I get you. I get you. Um. So I, I guess my next question is kind of like, revert back to what I asked earlier. It's like, okay, what's the process of, of uh, somebody to be part of the USA Olympics team uh, as a USA Breakers? But uh, I know somebody had a question about Connie, you know, B-Girl Connie. Yeah. Yeah. So she was, she qualified to be a representative for USA, Yeah. but then, you know, she didn't get to go because I guess there's a limitation on a USA team for the Youth Olympics of how many people can be on a USA team. And I guess she was left out, right? Um, uh, on that USA team uh, for the mm-hmm. Youth Olympics. And yeah. so would she need to go through the process again? Sorry. She needed... Sorry. Hello? Sorry, I, I keep getting going. Yeah, yeah. sorry about Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, everyone... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say unfortunately... Hello? Um, every, every, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry. They keep, they keep getting calls. Uh, everyone would. Uh, and what happened to, to Connie, uh, it wasn't just Connie. It was actually uh, um, Run is also was another one of, that made it uh, representing mm-hmm. the U.S. And, and what happened to them was unfortunate, and, and I feel for them wholeheartedly. Um, what I can tell you is we had we weren't a part of the organization, and we, we can't comment on what happened or what didn't happen because that has nothing to do with us. To me, it was unfortunately the, the purpose of our organization now is to prevent things like that from happening. That is essentially why we're doing what we do. We do. But Connie, Run, everyone else, um, and that's yearly, um, would have to go through the same process again. Um, you know, if, if you won a uh, championship and whatever last year, that doesn't qual- that doesn't make you like, you know, immediately the champion for this year. You have to still go through the same process from the beginning. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Um, as far as USA breaking, would that happen again? I mean, For the USA breakers? I, I, I don't think that if, if we're allowed to do what we're supposed to be doing, I don't see that happening again. I, I don't want to ever say never say never because I think that anything is possible. But I think what happened then was we didn't have proper representation. We didn't have any type of organization backing individuals. It was just like other countries did, but we didn't, right? The U.S. was like, okay, well, we threw these competitions and 
bomb. And then uh, now there was no one holding these people down. There was nobody, uh, you know, now I don't want to say there was nobody holding them down because I'm sure they're cruel with individuals, but there was no organization, you know, that was looked at by, you know, IOC and the WD, D, WDSF and things like that and said, you know, and had some sort of uh, ability to speak out and be like, hey, this is what's going on. You know, this isn't right. So mm-hmm. our goal is to, again, prevent anything like that from ever happening. And that's really, um, again, it's super unfortunate what happened. Connie, shout out to Connie, shout out to Run. They're both super talented. Um, and honestly, I think that they're both so talented that I don't think something like that's going to stop them. I see them, you know, potentially being individuals that are on the team or on the USA team, you know, in the future. So good luck to them. Right, right. Yo, shout out to everybody joining, you know, um, so let's see if any more questions in the building. I think, I think um, Captain Puerto Rico asked some, a good question. Hold on. It's hard to, guys, I apologize. It's hard to read and, and answer questions. But uh, he said, is it proper? Is it a proper time or right combo? Because I came into the live late to ask to possibly implement some rules and regulations to fix what does hurt the scene itself, such as biting, not listening to music, not having foundation, etc. I think that's a great question. Um, yo, yo, so, yeah. I'm sorry to do this. Hold that thought. Yeah, yeah. Let's rejoin because uh, Instagram only let us go live for an hour and then okay. an hour in. So I got to go, come back and rejoin and we'll, you can answer that question. I got you. Know, you. Get back. All right. All right, jump back on, yo. Go shout out to my man, Captain Puerto Rico. Um, he, he basically said, uh, he basically asked if there's, uh, if we could implement certain things to help uh, alleviate some of the negative aspects of um, some of the ne- negative aspects of our scene. And, and I think that our system does a good job of that. Um, and, and like anything, there's always room for improvement, right? And that's that's something mm-hmm. we're always going to work on. But I think, like, to give you an example, and particularly for the kids, uh, there is a no, no gesture, no obscene gesture allowed. You know what I mean? So if you're a kid and you're, that's, not accepted you know what i mean that's something we can't and coaches would have to train their students as such you know um again i know that uh burns and 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 whatnot are part of what we do burns are accepted you know within that standard you can't be you know 12 and under and grabbing your crotch and this that and the third these are not things that we are okay with or are going to allow so we're definitely trying to do things um to implement and to make sure that some of the things, some of the negative aspects of what we believe to be negative aspects of the scene um, are eliminated per se. Right, like, like if you touch somebody or... Touching you know, is definitely, obviously... That's no, automatically. Yeah, that's definitely a, a no-no. That's not something we think. Um, in regards to, like, biting, that's a tough one because that really is up to the particular judge and the judge's integrity. So I don't think that there's anything we can implement per se that I can think of that would completely get rid of biting. You know what I mean? But I, I think if that really falls on to the judges and what I can tell you what our system is, um, it is an app. I mean, we're, this whole system is done. On, it can be done on, on an app. Um, but I can tell you that there is a lot of transparency. So, for instance, if a judge is showing favoritism or obviously scoring someone I'd at a very crazier rate than uh, at a very different rate than the other judges. All that can be seen. So there's definitely uh, there's definitely a system of transparency. Um, and if, uh, for instance, uh, someone is, is clearly biting, and, and a lot of other judges are marking him because he's biting, and that one judge isn't, you know, mm-hmm. you're able to see that. You're able to be like, wait, hold on, like, you know what I mean? So right, right. I guess we just gotta look into the judge. Okay, for sure. That's That's nice. Nice. Yeah. Hey, for some yeah. reason, like my my voice is echoing on your end. I don't hear that echo on my end. My bad. I don't. Do you have something on speaker? No. Nah. Somebody in the room. Someone's in the room. My son's here, but he's not speaking. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, some reason I'm getting echoed. <laughs> Uh, but oh yeah, so so as far as, let's let's go back to that. Uh, you saying judges just the thing. So I guess we have to wait until it's released. It's gonna be in a booklet, like a manual. 
Um, I mean, it, it is in, in a manual form, but I mean, it will be released online. I'm sure in a PDF form or whatever the case may be, where people can look through it and, and, and really see what it's about. Um, but even then, I think that if you really want to see the judging system and you really want to be, uh, uh, really want to see what it's about, I advise you to all come to one of our regionals and check it out live, see it in person. That's when you'll really get a glimpse of what it is, what works, what doesn't work. Um, and, and we're always open to uh, what, you know, people's suggestions. We're always open to change. We've been changed. We've been working on this for five to six years now. So, we, you know, we're always open to new suggestions, you know. So, yeah. And and the, and the legacy department is hoping and advising some of the judges system, right? Yeah, yeah. They're they're going to be there's. Uh, I know Honey and I believe. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. I, I think Honey uh, Carla, who uh, is um, from one of the B girls from um, Heartbreakers uh, and Floor Angels. Shout out to Carla. I believe she has. Um, I believe that uh, Asia One has. Um, so. We're making sure that, again, before we release this, we're going through that process with the legacy committee and these to, to really streamline it and make sure that we're not, you know, that something's not too crazy. You know what I mean? That's the purpose of having a legacy advisory board. And and this justice system is going to be released before the first regional, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Crazy crazy C, shout out Crazy C, shout out Backyard Farm, asked the question. He wrote, most of our American promoters are judges and are really biased. I hear you, brother. Um, so that's a tough one. I mean, again, it's, uh, we spoke on that a little bit earlier. It's really on the integrity of the judges. Uh, I would say that, again, with our system, it, there's, it's really, the judges are being held accountable. If you're clearly a biased judge, you know, a, a contestant or a competitor can request their judging score. They can get, again, this is all done online. You can get an email, boom and show who judged you why. If there's a clear, blatant uh, bias, uh, I think that that would be something that would have to be addressed. Uh, fortunately, we haven't had to have anything like that thus far, but we do review the judges' scoring, so the judges are technically being judged as well, right, to make sure that there isn't a crazy discrepancy. You know what I mean? Um, and the other thing is we don't have our judges vote or a judge for their crew members or affiliates. You know what I mean? Um, again, that, that can get a little iffy too, but, uh, we, we try to make sure that, uh, those things don't, you know, I'm not going to judge if one of my students is, is battling. It just it wouldn't be right. You know what I mean? So we're trying our best to, to vet the process and have people in the community that, that have integrity, that have, that are really judges that we feel are, cause again, I've said it before, some of the greatest B-boys in the world, no disrespect, no shade to nobody. I'm not the best judges. Some of them are over here doing whatever they want. We want people that are taking their job seriously and that are really, like, trying to, you know, help us take this to the next level. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I'm getting hacked there on your end. I'm not sure why. Mm. Nothing changed on my end. I'm on the same, I'm on, doing the same thing. Um, but you can hear me, right? I can hear you perfectly. I don't hear okay. any echo at all from either one of us. Um... You're saying, you know, competitor can see what the judges now. Would it be the committee members to vote out the judges? Like, wait, this judge is being so biased. Would it be the committee of USA Breaking to judge to, to vote out that judge? So, so yeah, I mean, basically, it, it would, it would uh, partially. I think at this point, if we had a situation like that, we would get the committee involved. We would get the legacy advisory committee involved. And also there's a panel of judges. It's not like there's only like three judges and it, you know, there's a panel of judges. So amongst the judges also, this is something that, you know, that is going to be discussed. You know what I mean? It, here's a, the bottom line. It benefits nobody to have a biased judge, right? In no type of way. Um, and, and, and me, if I were a competitor, I wouldn't want to have uh, someone that was my homie judging me, helping me out. Cause that be, would be a fake win. You know what I mean? In fact, the generation I come from, I know we're harder on our own students if we were to judge them, you know what I mean? Because we know what you're capable of. So we really try to avoid that. But yeah, it would be the legacy committee. I would I would say the, the committee members as well, the board and the judges. You know, I think that this would have to be a decision through throughout everyone. And everyone would review it so that we see different angles of it, you know. Uh, again, we haven't had this happen yet. 
Um, but anything is possible, you know? So. Hey, so I'm going to log you off and I'm going to have you back, man. So, so back to the judges, you're going to, if that happens, there's going to be a process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Word, word. And how many judges per regional competition and national competition? Well, usually the, the way our system is set up, there's usually only three judges, but we also obviously have backup judges. So... There would be, you know, between, you know, three to six, if anything, you know what I mean? You have backup judges in case someone's students or whatever are battling or, or there's an affiliation or whatever the case may be. Right, so, right. and again, these are individuals that have gone through the process, that have been vetted, et cetera, et cetera, so. And for the judges, is there a rule in the USA breaking where, like, hey, you can't really compete and be judging in USA breaking, is there a rule like that? Yeah, I think, um, so uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that there's a set rule, but I think that that's something that we have basically discussed. And I think that that's something that's kind of, basically when you sign up, you sign up as as one of, you know, either a coach or, or a competitor or a judge. I do believe that you are able to be a competitor and a judge. And these are, uh, at the same time, I, I could be wrong, depending mm -hmm. on, uh, Tass says yes, he says, there's a rule, so task is simple. I believe there is a rule. I don't think you can compete and be a judge at the same time. So I think you have to kind of make a decision on that, you know? But again, yeah. uh, go ahead. Yeah, because I mean, if you just say I'm competing and then, you know, I'm getting judged by somebody who competed in the regional, you know, two weeks ago. For you know? sure. And it's like, wait, what's going on here? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, Rampage said, would there be both, wait, it moved up, would there be both a kids team and adult team or just one team? So the way the competition is going as of right now for the regionals and nationals, kids is a two-on-two -two competition for 12 and under, just to put it out there. So it would be two-on-two -two for 12 and under. For the teen category, uh, between 13 and 17, uh, 13, 17, I believe, uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one for adults. Is one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. And do you know the age limit for adults? As of right now, there's no set, set age limit, but I do know that we have also discussed throwing in a fourth category for the older G, the older generation of b-boys. That's something that's kind of being discussed. Um, that may happen. We're not sure. But as of right now, it's 18 plus at that point. But I think yeah, we man. really want to explore maybe like having like, you know, 35 plus or whatever the case may be for the older or 40 plus, whatever, you know, we feel is appropriate. That's because we want to get some of the older cats to still get busy. I mean, some of the dopest b-boys in the world, uh, although they, they don't dance like they older are older, like a Lego or like a Venom, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So we want to kind of give some shine to everybody as well, you know? So right. shout out to those brothers as well. Word up. So March 8th. That's March my first. 9th, I believe. No, I mean, they, they were saying March 8th earlier. Oh, they, okay, my bad. March 8th. No. I, my I guess a lot of people were saying March 8th. So, so yeah, so March 8th, if you 12 and under, it's going to be 2 on 2. And then 13 to 17, it's going to be 1 on 1. And then... From 18 and up would be the adult category. Okay, and now, can we ask who judging that? Uh, I would be one of the judges there. Um, okay. Let me pull up the flyer real quick to make my... I apologize, I'm, I'm pretty busy with everything, so it's... it's uh, Let me just pull it up real quick. I know I'm one of the judges. I believe Born um, will be one of the judges, but don't... Hold on. Give me one second, guys. Unless he's putting... Oh, oh, so Born and Doom. There you go. Oh, wait, no, Born and Amp. Born and Amp. Me, Born and Amp are going to be the judges for that. And Amp, Amp has been a guy... I think we all know Born, it goes without being said. Born has actually been working with us for a while. Born is, is a certified judge, just to put that out there. Um, he has gone through the uh, training process and, and whatnot. Um Again, any info you, you, you want, make sure you shout us out at info at USA Breaking 
no G at the end, dot org. Okay? So just USA, B-R-E-A-K-I-N, dot org. Um, so um, AMP is another guy. AMP has been a scorekeeper for a long time. We do have scorekeepers uh, in, the, in our system, the way it works. So AMP is an uh, uh, ATDB boy from uh, D.C., I believe, and he's, he's nasty. He's been working with us for a long time. He's another certified scorekeeper and sort certified judge as well. So shout out to that guy. And, and um, based on these regional, are you guys keeping the judges regional? So if, there, if there's a regional in Florida, it would be more of like a south, southern Florida type judges? Um, not necessarily. Uh, it, it's really up to the individual regional coordinator to to basically ju- decide who the judges. And also, you know, if there's a limited group of individuals that can be judges because we're really only picking out of cats that have been uh, certified judges. Um, like El Nino has been certified in the past. Uh, Rest in peace, Flo had worked with us for a long time. My, my OG Flo was a, a certified judge. Um, there's been a lot of individuals, so we kind of take from that pool. Now, if someone new. Um, if someone new, sorry about that. If someone new uh, came in, and, like yourself, and wanted to become a judge, uh, again, there'd be there'd be a process to go through that. But yeah, it could, it could happen, but. Because this is a thing we're working with judges we've already we've already worked with. You know, it doesn't specifically need to be regional, although there usually is one person from that region. So if somebody wanna judge and be certified, you know, for these regional competition, right? Do they email that uh, do they email you guys? Sure. Like, send, send, send us an email. Send us an email, okay. definitely. Send us yeah, an email. so people out there if you're interested in judging or coaching, you know, uh, USA Breaking. I'm about to post that. Info, info at USA Breaking. Yeah, info at USA Breaking without the sure. G. So, so, you know, email them with additional information. And, uh, yeah, uh, as far as, you know, information is concerned and everything, uh, is there a website or, a, you know, a platform that everybody in, in the scene can just go to and, and read, you know, further information? Yeah, the USA Breaking Set will be up shortly. Um, it's being worked on as we speak. Again, at the means in the meantime, you can email us. But there will be, uh, there will be. We had a, another site and we had some complications, and now. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I got a weird notification. Um, do me a favor. Give me the charger. Uh, mine is over there somewhere. Sorry, the phone's dying. But uh. Yeah. uh any information uh, will be posted shortly on our site when it's up, and we'll again we'll put out some information on that when it's out. But uh, as of right now, just email us there, and uh, and we'll take it from there. And um, Captain Puerto Rico, bro, I think I, we answered your question, homie. But you, I think you, uh, we logged off, or you logged off, or something happened. But uh, we did answer your question, my brother. Uh, email me, email me specifically, and I, I'd love to uh, answer your question for you, or inbox me. So, so where do you find these, like, Wilson Brace and Minneapolis judges look like Will Ron, Rock, Wright, and Vicky So, see, I don't even, I don't even, somebody like myself or anybody else from the scene, like, we don't know where to get the info, or, you know? Like, how do we know? Yeah, n- number one, you can follow the individuals that are, that are uh, uh, a part of this. Uh, like, you can follow myself on social media. Um, mm-hmm. On Instagram and Facebook, you can or on Twitter. You can follow Tass. Uh, you can follow Ian. You can follow any of us. If you're looking for more info, I know that we do have an emailing list that we're putting out. Uh, so you, again, email us at uh, info dot um, USA Breaking without the G dot com, and uh, and definitely you can be added to that list, uh, and you can be notified when when events are coming up. Uh, we're literally. We just started putting out information regarding the regionals. Uh, so as someone said, those are the, the, the judges for a uh, uh, for Minneapolis. Um, shout out, uh, Captain Puerto Rico. Yeah, for sure, bro. Uh, inbox me. I got you. Um, Omar is saying your audio is bad, um, Taekwon. I don't know if it's me or you or whoever, but... No, I... <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it's mine or yours. I have no idea. Let me put this phone on. So when I log you off, it's fine. 
There we go. You uh, can hear me better? Still echoing. Yeah, that's better. That's I'm way not, better. I put the phone to charge. I don't want to pat me your tip. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's way better. It's not echoing right, no cool. more. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so maybe your phone was like, yo, charge me. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not echoing no more. Right. That's why I was like, yo, what's going on? That's um, what so I, I, I guess my, my thing is, is, you know, we're a big scene as, as far as USA, right? Because everybody is, is coastal. Like USA is like a big ass country, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. And so as far as regional, you know, you say regional directors are, are there representative that we should contact in our region? Yeah, and for who sure. Are those for sure. Uh, in Boston, in the Northeast, that would be me, um, Excel. Mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. sure, you guys, you know, people, if they want to reach me, um, you know, I'll leave at the end of the convo. I can leave my email. Um, again, you can reach any one of us through the uh, info.usabreaking.org. Um, in, uh, in D.C., you got Tony Task uh, from the Lab Rats and, and, and uh, excuse me, from the Lab. Um, in Miami, you have D. You have uh, uh, Jet. Uh, in Atlanta, we got Honey Rockwell, okay? In LA, you got Asia One. In Denver, you got Ian. Um, and in Minneapolis, you got Jake as well. But what I would say is definitely uh, reach out um, on that email, info.usabreaking.com, um, without the G. Uh, get on the e mailing list. That way you'll be kept in the loop. Um, and definitely follow our there pages. You know, follow USA Breaking uh, on, on uh, social media which also will keep you in the loop for sure. Yeah, let me let me type your your ha IG handle real fast. USA breaking. That's yeah, I just that's their uh, IG y'all. Y'all can follow them and I guess get up to date information or uh, email info at USA breaking without the G dot yep. for sure. And, yeah, and if doubt. you want to email Info at USA Breaking without the G.org for sure. And you right, feel free right. to ask any questions you guys you guys want um, on that. If there's anything I didn't answer or if I missed your question or whatever, please feel free to email us. And, and you know, again, I'm just one representative from a, a larger group. Um, you know, all the guys, everybody we work with have a lot of insight into to what we're doing. And, um, yeah. Cool. And, and to start off, if somebody want to be a member, a competitor, what have you, and what's the cost for them to be part of USA Breaking? Okay, it really the cost differs depending on uh, what you're joining as, whether it be a competitor or whatever the case may be. Again, that will all be released to the public uh, along with the rules and regulations and all that. Okay. So I don't want to get into all that because I don't have it in front of me. So I don't, you know, it's it's a lot of information to re retain, guys. You and, know? And, and, and for judges as well, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So when you sign up, essentially when you sign up for USA Breaking, which I encourage everyone to become a part of, um, because it only benefits the community. Uh, you sign up for the year. You're, you know, you pay your 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 membership fees, and there's going to be. Uh, we're definitely going to have a lot of other type of. Um, what's the term I'm thinking of? There's going to be a lot of benefits for joining USA Breaking, just besides becoming a meta member. Um, and again, this will all be discussed when when we release the, the information, the rules, regulations, and all that. So just really look out for that. Uh, join our emailing list. Check us out on social media, and, uh, and and we'll go from there. And can people start signing up today or tomorrow? I believe Tass would be a great person to ask on that, but I believe so. I do believe that we can. We are accepting members as of now. Um, but uh, Tass, if you're on, you might be able to answer that better than I can. Not sure if he's on or not anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to ask that because you never know. You know, somebody who's watching this. Yeah, for sure. Like, hey, I want to, I want to, I want to sign up. For sure, for sure. Yo, it's zooming out again. Uh, okay. There, there we go. Yeah, way, way better. So weird. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and the way you sign up is the email, right? Like, hey, subject line, like, I want to be a member. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely shoot us an email and say, uh, so basically he said, when we release the website, you can sign up. That would probably be the easiest method because obviously there's, there's, that's what we would direct you that, you know, there's a whole process in, into it and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But so when the website, again, once we release the rules and regulations in the website, you can kind of 
look at what we're doing and then at that point decide, yo, this is dope. I like what they're doing, and, you know, and sign up if that's what you want to do. You know, I encourage everyone to sign up. I've been a member. Uh, just to make it clear, all of us that are members on the board, we also pay dues. We've also literally paid, and by dues, I mean like cash money to become members as well. You know, we're trying to lead by example. Uh, you know, we're not in this for the money. We're the, we're make, we make no money doing this. We're literally doing this on the grassroots level because we want to make sure that, as we stated earlier, what happens to some of those individuals before it doesn't happen. And I have a ton of students that, that I personally feel that could te technically be competitors, and I want to see them succeed. I want them to have opportunities I never did, you know? So, you know, that's really where we're at. So I guess the purpose is not about me, 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 but for the future. It's like building a platform, uh, you know, that's sufficient, you know, that's efficient, you know, and, and as well as, you know, for everybody to join, and just to, you know, help grow, right? Just, it's just about get... community. That's our number mm -hmm. one thing, community, you know? Staying true to the art form, staying true to the sport aspect, but the community, you know, we want to stay more importantly, stay true to the community. We want to make sure that the community has a, vo a voice, like, which is why, you know, things will be, it, it will be a democratic process. We want to make sure that things are done properly because, yo, the United States is the mecca of, you know, we created this. You know, not you know other other countries are doing it in their way they're doing it, but there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't be at the uh, forefront of, of this. So in order to do that, you know, we need to really like get together. We really need to you know uh, uh, assimilate and, and put all the BS aside and really work together to to represent properly. You know. Right, right, right. Omar, Omar stated a pretty good question when it comes to you know, the professionalism side of it, right? And he's mm -hmm. saying, you know, what's the measure, uh, you know, taken to prevent conflict of interest? Because, yeah, I mean, you you don't want somebody who's on a board and then all of a sudden judging at the same time and then maybe voting for their people or their student. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not well, 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 judges, the, just to be clear, as I stated earlier, judges can't judge for their own students or affiliates, right? Who members... Judges, to be clear, but that's a very good question. Um, again, there are measures in place for, I, I don't know if there's a specific measure to be as far as being on the board and being a judge. That's something that we can totally explore. Um, I think that's a great question, Omar. Um, actually, he's been asking a lot of good questions, so shout out to him. I feel like that's a, a question you definitely um, can, can shout out, I mean, can uh, email us. There is a judge code of ethics that, you know, that, that you need to have when you become a judge, you need to read abide by and if we feel that at any point you're not abiding by that then we have the authority to you know just cut you out of the, the judging situation um and, and that also will be able to be seen along with the rules and everything like that there is a total uh, judges code of ethics again we're not looking for you know you know the most popular b-boy we're looking for you know b-boys that you know that, that really have that integrity and they really want the, the scene to grow you know so if you're one of those shady guys that comes in or you're drinking or doing something that you should be doing, you're not going to, that'll be your first and last event, you know? But um, Omar, definitely um, email us that, that question and, and I'm sure you can uh, get a more specific answer. Yeah. Just, just to add on to that, I think uh, in a way, in my opinion, right, um, you should, right? Because <laughs> when it comes to conflict of interest, when dealing with the Olympics, what have you, you know that's going to be an issue, right? For um, sure. Even if the judge is not voting for, oh, for their, sure. their member, right? Like the judge is, is doing their thing, the code of ethics, but it's always that that scenario. You for know, sure. people, well, well, he's on the board and then he's always judging, he, he, you know, and his people keep winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though that's, you know, the judge is, you know, judging correctly. Of but people are always going to have that, oh, you know, that scenario, yeah. oh, this and that, right? So I guess that's what I think is very important. I, I feel like USA Breaking should, you know, apply a rule in there like, hey, if, yeah, if you part of the board, then we shouldn't be judging at all. Just to just to reduce the risk, you know. It's yeah, all about so I totally money. hear you. And again, this we're, we're at the very beginning process. So, I mean, I definitely, again, we do have rules like that in play. Um, again, mm -hmm. There are rules like that in play, but we're still at the beginning, uh, beginning process in the sense that, that right, if, right. If we, there's going to be things that we may not have thought of that we encounter. And so at that point, we're going to have to come in and make changes. So we're open to, to all feedback, you know what I mean? And open yeah. to, to really 
change and make this as transparent and, and as uh, truthful as possible. You know what I mean? So, for right, sure. Right, right, right. That's good. Hey, man, thank you so much for your time. You know, you know, it, it, honestly, it's a lot of information to digest. So all of everybody out there, <laughs> rewind, right? I, I share it on IG story. Go watch and, 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 and go rewatch it. And uh, I'm going to, you know, um, upload this on YouTube. So once, sure. you know, if you guys, you guys want to share, you know, our YouTube conversation on your website, hey, you're always welcome to, you know, just right. to get the information out there. Because honestly, my main thing is my position is I really want people to all work together. For real, like, like, for real, like, that's, that's the main purpose here. We all, everybody got a position to play, right? And I sure. feel like if we all, like, just chill with any dumb pride and ego and just, you know, especially in our generation, right? Exactly. Just work together, man, and get feedback, just like Omar and I, and you guys yeah. can, you know, go back and what have you. And, and we all work as a unit, as a team, right? For sure. And then everything is the purpose for the new generation, Right, yeah. because four years from now, somebody may be nice, but four years from now, the youth that's fourteen, you know, he's fourteen years yeah. old, and in four years he's eighteen, so he's in an adult category. He might sure. be the other one, you know. Sure. So yeah. I feel like it's very important, like you, you know, you guys are saying, like focus on the youth, and then let's all work together, man. I'm I'm here yeah. to build. That's why I call this bridge the gap for a reason, right? Sure. Um, yeah. Let's let's you know. Bro, let's yeah. come together. I'm down. I, I appreciate you having me on, and, and I just want to extend the, the invite to anyone who, who's interested and really wants to know more about the organization or wants to become part of it, please, again, email us at info.usabreakin at dot org, I should say, um, uh, and or check us out on social media. Um, our goal, I mean, you pretty much summed up everything that I would have said in that regard, but yeah, our goal is really to unify the United States breaking scene. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that feel that breaking is not a sport, and that's cool. I respect that. We Just to make it clear, we respect everyone's uh, opinion, and, and, and I'm not knocking those. And if those that don't want to rock with us or be a part of this, more power to you. I still got love for you anyway. Uh, as I said before, we do believe that this can be both an art and a sport, and we really want to take the sport aspect to the next level. So that's what we're doing. Um, we, we have it available for everybody, but we're really focusing on the youth, uh, as you stated, because the, the youth are the future, man. Like, they're the, they're the guys that are carrying the flag. And it's up to the older guys, the OGs or the young Gs, our generation, Taekwondo, to really come together and, and, uh, and really pool our resources and, and not bicker and fight because it's not about us anymore, right? It's about mm -hmm. the community. It's about bringing right. it together. So that we're not looked at like these Americans, they're unorganized, they don't got this stuff together. That's not where we're trying to be, you know? So okay. we're looking for like-minded individuals and, uh, uh, you know, we hope that, uh, you know, everybody checks out what we have to do and, and give us feedback. And yeah, thank y'all for listening. No doubt, no doubt, bro. Hey, thank you again. Shouts to USA Breaking and all the, all the current members of USA Breaking. And shout out to everybody for joining, man. And uh, look out, uh, be on the lookout for more information by USA Breaking uh, sure. with their website. And make sure, you know, tag me and tag, you know, all, all the who's who within the scene in the USA. And, and, you know, we'll, we'll sh reshare the information, man. For sure, so, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate you, brother. No all doubt, right. bro. We'll go more, man. All right? Thank you. All right. Peace, everybody.